In this video, I'm going to show you what an HSA is. I'll also show you how you can use it as an effective investing tool, as well as how you can pay zero tax on that money. And stick around until the end of the video, and I'm going to show you an amazing hack that could potentially help you make thousands of dollars. Hi, I'm Jeremy Zargami, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you what an HSA is, as well as how you can use it to your advantage to pay less taxes and increase your income in retirement. If you haven't already, click that like button because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't click that like button, YouTube will show this video to less people. So to help out this channel and to help more people see this great content, click that like button down below. And please consider subscribing if you're committed to learning and growing to ensure that you have the best financial future possible. And don't forget your five free stocks. Four free stocks when you sign up with Webull and deposit $100 onto the platform with those stocks potentially valued up to $6,400. And one free stock when you sign up with Robinhood. Links below in the description. Let's get into it. HSA stands for Health Savings Account. What makes an HSA so amazing is that it has a triple tax advantage. IRAs and 401ks only have a double tax advantage so this is a big deal this allows you to legally avoid paying a ton of taxes on the front end in the middle and on the back end as well hence the triple tax advantage in order to qualify for an HSA you must first be enrolled in a high deductible health plan or an HDHP a deductible is what you pay out of pocket before the health insurance company takes over and pays the rest typically the lower the deductible the higher the premium is and vice versa a premium is your monthly insurance payment so basically it's how much you have to pay every month to have this insurance plan. The high deductible health plan has exactly what it says, a higher deductible. But the upside of this HSA qualified plan far outweighs the high deductible in most cases. Many employers have started to do matching programs for HSAs as well, which is when your employer will match the amount of money that you put in your HSA account. For example, if you put $1,000 into your HSA, they will match you and put $1,000 into your HSA as well. If your employer does this, always take full advantage and max out your match contributions. You are basically leaving free money on the table if you don't take advantage of this. The same goes for your 401k or any other retirement account that you have. The maximum HSA contribution limit in 2021 for a single person is $3,600 per year and $7,200 per year for a family. If you are over the age of 55, you can contribute an additional $1,000 per year. Health savings accounts are meant to be used just like a normal savings account. A key difference is that you only use this account for medical expenses that you have. For example, getting your teeth cleaned, getting an x-ray, or getting your yearly physical. What makes this account such a powerful investing tool is that instead of having this money just sit there and lose value every year, you can invest that money into a low-cost index fund and that growth will be tax-free. You also get to write off the amount that you contribute to this account every year, as well as take this money out tax-free when used for medical expenses. Although I love the HSA, I don't think it's for everyone. The high deductible health plan works best for people who are relatively healthy and don't need to take very many trips to the doctor each year. If you fall in that category, you may wanna look into getting an HSA qualified insurance plan and start contributing to your HSA. At the time of this recording, it is open season for insurance companies, which means you're free to switch insurance plans up until December 15th. So if getting an HDHP and contributing to an HSA interests you, then you better act fast if you want to take advantage of it for this upcoming year. One very important thing that you must do if you have an HSA is keep great records of your medical expenses. Keep and scan all of your receipts into the cloud as a backup and make a spreadsheet with all of your expenses and add any additional info you have on that health expense. Here's an HSA hack that only 4% of people who even have an HSA take advantage of. First, you want to invest some money in your HSA into a low-cost index fund and let it grow over time. When you get a medical expense, pay for it out of pocket, ideally with a credit card that you pay off each month. That way you can take advantage of the benefits that come with that credit card as well. Because if you get something like 2% cash back, you might as well take advantage of it. Then document the expense and scan the receipt. Once you turn 65, you can take all of your medical expenses and reimburse yourself with your HSA completely tax-free, which by that point has grown into a massive nest egg. Any additional money left over in the HSA can either be left there to keep growing and be used for future medical expenses or taken out and taxed as regular income. It's up to you what you'd want to do with it at that point. Here's an example of what your HSA could grow into in the next 30 years. If you have an individual health insurance plan and contribute $3,600 each year into your HSA, and let's say you're pretty healthy, so you average about $500 per year in medical expenses. Let's say you have your HSA for 30 years and you're in a high tax bracket of 37% federal and 12% state and your rate of return is pretty modest at 8%. Your estimate of potential income tax savings from HSA contributions and earnings is $52,920 and the future value of your HSA would be $379,000 
$272.29, of which you only contributed $108,000 of. And that's not taking into account any employer matching. When adding the $52,922 of income tax saved, you would have profited $324,192 using this HSA account, of which you can pull out most of it tax-free, depending on how many medical expenses you accrued over 30 years. If you have a family insurance plan and maxed it out at $7,200 each year, with the same specs I just showed you, except I doubled the yearly medical expenses, over 30 years you would profit $648,384, of which again you could pull most of that out tax-free. Overall, this is a very underutilized way to invest and to lower your tax burden each year while investing your money into a vehicle that can grow tax-free and be taken out tax-free as well. I hope you got value from this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It greatly helps out this channel. Comment down below with any questions or feedback. I would love to hear from you all. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I post there pretty much daily. And don't forget your five free stocks. Links down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and God bless. If you like that video, I put another video right here that I think you will like. So be sure to check that out, click right here, and I will see you in the next video.